Bioinformatics is the intersection of informatics, or the science of processing data for storage and retrieval, and biology, the study of living organisms. Why should you care about bioinformatics? There are a few reasons for that, even if you're not in computer science or IT. More and more data is being generated in the research and biomedical fields. This includes agriculture, biotechnology, and biomedical research. So knowing what kinds of data are being generated and how it is being analyzed will bring value to your personal career and the ability to collaborate effectively with others. So let's briefly talk about what is bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is a conversion of biology and data, where both are equally important, as we will see in the next few slides. Who uses bioinformatics and who is this for? The answer might have been statisticians, computer scientists, or, or engineers. But the truth is that more and more biologists and clinicians are now expected to understand and handle their own data and to publish and succeed in basic and translational research as well as industry. In fact, you can say today that biology itself is rapidly acquiring the characteristics of a data science. This field developed tremendously in the last several decades, basically transforming life sciences enabling technology, and empowering biomedical research at scale. As a result, many new discoveries that include new treatments, diagnostic assays, design strategies for experimentation were discovered and perfected. As a result, there is a growing interest among biologists and clinicians in data, including new types of data generation, like different types of omics technologies, new methods of computational analysis, as well as approaches that allow us to mine complex data to find patterns that can explain biological phenomena. A lot of breakthroughs in bioinformatics are a result of the growth and adoption of high throughput technologies. These technologies generate billions of data points on genes, proteins, and other many molecules that can characterize biological systems how they function, and what are the different variations from normal or different types of clinical conditions that we can describe using these techniques. The data are complicated, but they're organized and compiled into repositories that can be systematically studied to understand, interrogate, and establish trends for many different applications. One such repository is maintained by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, which has a collection of peer-reviewed articles, biological datasets, and projects on a variety of topics. Introduction to Bioinformatics is a program that is designed to introduce you to these important terms and topics. So after completing the course, you will be able to see the applications of next-generation sequencing, biostatistical methods of analysis, and other computational tools that are used to process and mine big data, such as machine learning. More importantly, the program is more than just a theoretical introduction. It's really a practical course. It will give you a sense of what types of technologies are used, and we call them omics technologies, what kinds of analytical methods are used by people in the industry and in research to analyze and interrogate these data sets. And most importantly, you will have access to a portal and a community that will support your journey. So the training program is going to be run through this omics logic portal. And the omics logic portal combines many important elements that you need to succeed as a beginner in bioinformatics. It gives students options for analyzing a data set based on code-dependent paths or code-independent paths. So you can pursue bioinformatics by learning coding languages like R and Python, or you can choose to just understand the logic of analysis by not necessarily dedicating time to that. The portal offers many different ways to study biology using data at different levels, complexity, so what you will find is a way to get started, then identify a type of data, a type of omics data like genomics, epigenomics, or others, and then pursue potentially a more technical skill enrichment path 
that might include coding and statistical analysis. But you can also skip those and especially focus on projects, which are publications designed to introduce you to a real scientific challenge that you can study using data. You will find collections of training modules that are organized under this Getting Started collection. So the program is designed to point you to the relevant resources and complete them over the course of the program that we are going to start. The resources will introduce bioinformatics applications in healthcare, biomedical research, biotechnology, and agriculture, provide you with a concise overview of various biological concepts that you need to know to understand omics data, introduce you to big data analysis using several example data sets, and expose you to some coding in R and Python so that you are aware of how the analysis of biological data is done behind the scenes. This learning process will go from the bottom, the basic level of Bloom's taxonomy, to the top of this pyramid. And the process goes from understanding and remembering terminology to then learning how to apply these tools to use information in new situations then draw connections among ideas, and eventually be able to evaluate and even create new analyses using the tools that you will be introduced to. And these are just several examples that lead to more in-depth review of key topics, technologies, and analysis methods. So the program, being an introduction, will give you high-level introduction into all of these topics. Genomics, such as variant calling, transcriptomics, such as gene expression, analysis, metagenomics, analysis of the microbiome or communities of bacteria and viruses, epigenomics, regulation of gene expression using non-genomic coding, and an introduction to data science. How do you apply data visualization, analysis, and machine learning to study these complex data sets and integrate them? Importantly, after this overview, you will be introduced to the concept of omics logic projects. These projects are focused around the areas of oncology, infectious diseases, neuroscience, and agriculture. And you will be able to pick a project that you can follow as a tutorial or potentially design a project of your own after the program is over. You will also be introduced to the T-BioInfo platform for big data analysis, where you can run analysis of large data without any technical challenges, understand the logic of specific pipelines, and produce different usable results that you can visually explore and understand trends in the data that you have. So to see the full schedule, we welcome you to stay in the session, ask questions, and really go through each session so that you can start your journey in bioinformatics.